Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to install Open API Generator for the Windows operating system. The documentation for the same is already available on GitHub and the Open API Generator website, but I'm going to run you through it real quick. But before we get started, uh, I'm just going to give you a brief intro on what Open API Generator is. Open API Generator is uh, a tool designed to create API client libraries, server stubs, and documentation in multiple languages like uh, Ruby, C, Java, Python, etc. In our demo, we're going to build a, a basic client side SDK using Open API Generator in Python. So let's get started. So you can just Google Open API Generator and you'll find the GitHub repo as well as the uh, official website of Open API Generator. So let's just click on the official website and uh, click on install. Now, there are multiple ways to install uh, OpenAPI Generator in the Windows operating system, like if I using NPM or by using Docker, Bash, Launcher Script, etc. So, uh, we're going to follow NPM, and NPM is a package manager for Node.js packages, so you'll need to install Node.js as well as NPM beforehand. If you already have npm installed, then well and good. As you can just Google up how to install uh, Node.js and npm in Windows 10 or your Windows operating system. Uh, now, we just need to follow the instructions given over here to install Open API Generator. So I'm just going to copy this command and run my command line, command prompt, and uh, just paste it. There it goes, NPM is installing Open API Generator for us. All right, so that's done, perfect. Now, um, in case you have a specific version of Open API Generator in mind, you can just pass it during the installation. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna let it be. Now you can install, uh, or actually you need to install it as a dependency in your project. So I am gonna copy it and run it on my system. So I'm just uh, installing Open API Generator as a dependency in my project and uh, that's done. Now there's just one last step, which is to generate a valid client from a YAML or JSON file. So uh, first we need a YAML or JSON file for that. So I have a sample file, a petstore.yaml file over here. I'm just gonna click that, yeah. So let's just copy paste this. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy paste this as a, yeah. And uh, just go ahead and save it. I have saved it in my D drive as uh, petstore.yaml in my D drive. So the next thing to do is to run this code on the command line. But before we do that, let's just analyze this code first. So over here we're calling npx and open API generator to generate, and this is our input. So our input is a petstore.yaml file. Now uh, you'll have to give the location of where the petstore.yaml file exists. So in my case, in, in D drive, so input petstore.yaml file in D drive and generate our uh, SDK in which language? By default, it's Ruby. You can just change it to any language. Uh, Open API generator supports a lot of languages like Python, Ruby, Java, C, etc. So I'm just gonna say Python and output. Dash show stands for output. And our output location is, uh, for me, it's D drive. And just create a, a, an empty file, a blank file, which is called uh, Python SDK. So I'm just going to, yeah, let's run this code on our command line. And that's done. It's successful. Now, let's see what the output is like what exactly have we done so i'm gonna yeah now i'm gonna open the uh 
location of our file. Yeah, here we are. So just open this file as it is. Okay. Oh, sorry, folder. So open that folder. Okay, so this is the SDK. This is what we're talking about. So this is the final SDK that has been generated. Now, uh, anybody who wants to use this SDK can uh, follow the installation process. So you can um, upload this this particular SDK as a repository on GitHub, and this and then call this SDK from any Python uh, application by using pip install and the github repo location and uh, how do we use it this is like a model a sample in the getting started uh, but i'll cover more details about the usage of this sdk like how to install it how to use it with a demo in the next video so i hope this video has been helpful and thank you for sticking with me for this long and i hope to see you in the next video